हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ ख्याति व्यास फ्रॉम जेएमपी इंग्लिश मीडियम सरस्वती ग्रुप ऑफ एजुकेशन टुडे आई एम कंडक्टिंग दिस सेशन फॉर ग्रेड 3 सब्जेक्ट एसएस वी आर डीलिंग विद चैप्टर नंबर 7 ऑक्युपेशंस एंड दिस इज माय सेशन नंबर 2 फॉर दिस चैप्टर सो किड्स इन आवर अर्लियर सेशन आई एक्सप्लेन टू यू व्हाट इज ऑक्युपेशन why people have to perform different occupation? Yes, they perform occupation because they need to earn money to meet their daily requirements like food, clothing, house, etc. How do they earn money? To earn money, they have to be educated. They have to be skillful. Right? And they have to see their basic According to that, they choose their own occupation, their jobs, from which they can earn money to meet their daily needs. So we learned all that in our previous session. In today's session, we will learn regarding occupations in village and occupation in cities. And lastly, what do you mean by hobbies and the difference between hobbies and occupations? We will learn these topics in today's session. So, to begin with, let us see what are the different occupations that people take up in the villages. Villages are small places where few families live together, a group of people live together. It is not so well developed. It is, villages are not so well developed as cities and towns. Right? So now, normally, if you have visited any village, have you noticed what occupation of the village, uh, people in living in the village they perform? What activities do they do? Yes, normally, they are farmers means they grow crops in their field or they are uh, rearing animals. Rearing animals means they have a lot of cows, goats, sheep, etc. So that is animal rearing. So that we are going to cover in the occupations in village. Now what they have given you related to that in your textbook. There are various occupations followed by people in villages. There are many different occupations. Right? Yes. They are farming, selling fruits and vegetables, rearing animals. Why do they rear animals? Yes. For milk, meat, egg. These animals will give them milk, meat, egg etc. Which they can sell in the market and then earn their money. And lastly, fishing. If the village is located somewhere near the pond, lake or a sea or river, then fishing is also occupation that people take up in the villages. <coughs> I'm sorry. So, these are the basic occupations that people follow in villages. They are farmers. Some people they sell fruits and vegetables in the village. Then some people do fishing. Some people are animal, uh, you know, they do animal rearing. Means they domesticate animals. They have big farms in which they keep animals like cow, sheep, hen, etc. And these animals, why are they reared? Why are they domesticated? Because these animals will give them milk, meat, egg. And this milk, meat and egg, they will sell in the market and earn money. And this money will be used for their basic needs. So that is the basic occupation of people living in village. Farming, that is agriculture. Agriculture or farming is the main occupation of people living in villages. That is the main occupation because 
in villages you can find big big farms right yes in cities we have high rise buildings houses societies here and there right we cannot see big farms in the cities and towns but in villages you can see farms lots of farms they grow variety of crops many things are grown in the farms what type of crops cereals cereals are the uh, seeds of the trees which you use which you grind and use them for example cereals uh, is you know uh, your wheat gehu from which you make chapati then rice chawal right that rice is also cereal so they are cereals then you have pulses means in gujarati you say kathor they are pulses then spices means masale your haldi then mirchi powder all they are spices clove clove means loving right elaichi cardamom all these are spices why they are called spices because they bring taste to your food just imagine any food in which they have not added any type of spice will it be uh, tasty no it will not taste good if you add spices your food becomes more tasty it will enhance the taste of the food right so all these spices are also grown oil seeds oil seeds are those type of seed from which oil is extracted you can get oil for example your groundnut moonfly it is oil seed it is a nut as well as oil seed because when you grind this groundnut you can extract groundnut oil you are having uh, mustard rye right which your mama uses in your curries and dal and all now this mustard when it is also crushed you can get oil out of it sarso ka uh, tel that is nothing but mustard oil so this seeds from which oil is extracted are called oil seeds then you get fruits vegetable tea coffee cotton jute and sugar cane all these things are grown in the villages in the farms in villages they grow all these things cereals pulses spices fruits vegetables oil seeds tea coffee cotton jute sugar cane and many more things these all things are grown in the farms in the village animal rearing i talked about what is animal rearing cattle rearing is the domestication of animals such as cow buffalo sheep bullocks and goats cattle rearing means all these cattle they are reared reared means they are kept in the farm they are being trained there they are domesticated there people feed them they take care of them right but why do they do this domestication or animal rearing is done for the milk that is called dairy farm if these animals out of these many animals if animal is been domesticated or it is reared to get milk from that animal which can further be sold in the market right now if a person is having say 10 to 15 cows do you think that a particular person requires the milk that is extracted from 15 cows for his own use no it is a lot more than his daily requirement so what he does he keeps the milk which he requires for his day to day routine and the rest of the milk extra milk which he has got from the cow he goes out and he sells it in the market and at that time when the milk is sold this type of farming is called dairy farming dairy farming 
where a particular animal is being reared to get milk out of that animal which can be further sold in the market that is dairy farming hen duck and geese are reared for meat and egg. these birds they are reared for you know their egg and meat the farms where these animals are reared are called poultry farms when these birds are reared why these birds are reared because why they are domesticated or why they are kept because they will give egg meat and which further can be sold in the market at that time this is called poultry farming if it is for milk then dairy farming and if it is for meat and egg then it is poultry farming the occupation is called poultry farming and this occupation is called poultry farming where birds are reared to get egg and meat from them which can further be sold in the market and earn money so if it is for milk then dairy farming and if it is for egg and meat then it is poultry farming now occupation in cities in cities we have lots of occupation in villages it is not necessary that only those uh, activities that are or the occupation given in the books are only been done in villages nowadays lots of more activities are done do you think that villages don't have schools yes of course they do have schools so teachers are also there doctors are also there so in book only few things are mentioned rest of the things they are also there in the villages now the various occupation practiced in cities include working in factories people work in factories because in cities we have big factories big industries where people work so people work in factories and offices work in hospitals schools and colleges and selling goods and services now what is selling goods and services selling goods selling goods is means uh, for example if somebody is selling fruits somebody is selling you know bakery items like bread uh, then biscuits toast etc that is a selling of good they are selling some product now what do you mean by services selling services selling goods and services you might have observed there are people working from zomato or swiggy or you know you order something from amazon flipkart now these people come to your house to deliver your products that is the service that they are giving you and they earn money with that that is their occupation because the company is paying them money for delivering your goods to your place that is at that time it is called service okay that is service doctors they are also serving us by treating us that is service your teacher is also serving the society by making the society educated this is this is a service so some people also work in films films it is a mode of entertainment people get relaxed by watching different modes of entertainment like they watch movies serials they listen to music all this is entertainment so people working in films they are also earning money some write books while some earn money by painting some are writers they write different types of books some are poets they write poems by writing that poem or writing a book they earn money some are painters correct they draw beautiful sketches sceneries etc so they become painter now factories what are factories many people work in factories when raw materials are converted to usable goods what is a factory it is a place where raw material raw material is the material which is extracted directly from 
the way it is being found for example your cotton you wear cotton t-shirts at home now that is usable but when you see the beginning you might have observed in the villages the cotton field where cotton is grown it is inside a shell like structure when it bursts open you can see cotton coming out of it and cotton is always white in color now this cotton it is a raw material because you are not using it directly this cotton is then taken to factories where first of all from this cotton yarns are made yarns are thread fibers are extracted and yarns are made thread is made out of that cotton these threads are then woven then they are woven and made fabric kapda then this fabric is cut into different shapes and size and then it is stitched and then later after stitching your cotton t-shirt become ready similarly not only t-shirt your shorts frocks all these things are made of cotton so what is raw material raw material is nothing but any the thing which is uh, got from the nature it is raw material and what is usable goods see you cannot take cotton and wear it but you have to convert that cotton into cotton t-shirt cotton short and then you can wear it so that is usable good similarly sugar cane ganna sedi now sugar cane it is a raw material when this sugar cane is taken to factories and they process it sugar is made shakkar khand it is made so sugar cane was raw material and sugar which is a finished product it is a usable so that is usable good and raw material for example cloth is made from cotton sugar and jaggery are made from sugar cane jaggery is good so from sugar cane sugar and jaggery is made so from raw material we convert that raw material to usable good or finished product and the place where this process is done is called a factory it is called fact next handicraft some people make handicraft handicraft means nothing but all the items which are made from hand are called handicrafts they have special skills to work with things like fabric paper stone clay and glass so these handicraft item they require a lot of skill a person should be very much expertized in doing that if i and you sit in a uh, potter's sit on the potter's wheel and we start making pot i'm sure we will not be able to make a good pot it will be a shapeless pot though we try hard it won't become because skill is required so handicraft is nothing but a work which is very skilled person they perform it and they are expertized in doing that for example handicraft of fabric kapda right paper stone and clay and glass all these things they can make handicraft out of some common handicrafts in india are embroidery i shared the picture with you embroidery right your mother makes the embroidery then you have knitting they make sweaters woolen sweaters jackets etc that is knitting sewing means stitching clothes weaving pottery doll making and paper craft all these are handicraft things even you do that handicraft thing some of you are very much uh, skilled in making that uh, quill items quills are the small colorful ribbons of papers and you give it a shape and you make flower pots flowers dolls and everything that is also handicraft because you did it by your own self using a paper paper ribbon you used and you made it that is handicraft correct 
so that is handicraft which is also common thing in the cities next we will talk about hobbies and occupation hobby is nothing but any uh, activity that you perform in your leisure time and you enjoy doing that leisure time means the time when you are completely relaxed and you want to do something for your own entertainment for your own satisfaction that you do not for earning money but that is your you know you can say uh, hobby as your um, uh, you know you are having that um, you can say uh, your activity which you do to perform or to relax yourself right that is hobby there are certain activities which we enjoy doing in our spare time spare time is time when you have actually nothing to do extra time that time you perform such activities and they are called hobbies they are called hobbies they are fun you enjoy them because they are fun they help us to relax it gives relaxation to your mind when you are busy full of schedules and you have a little time some people they play music and listen to the music it will relax their mind they are enjoying it so listening to music that is a hobby sometimes you have the hobby of painting whenever you get extra time you start painting so that is a hobby we indulge them during our free time so we perform these hobbies in our free time indulge means allow oneself to do something you allow yourself to do something is indulging yourself so that time when you are free you do these things आपके शौक जो होते हैं उनको हॉबीज कहते हैं इट इज ओनली योर हॉबी इट इज नॉट डन फॉर अर्निंग मनी हॉबीज आर ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप्स लाइक म्यूजिक डांस पेंटिंग एज वेल एज स्पोर्ट्स सो हॉबीज आर ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप पीपल हैव हॉबी ऑफ कलेक्टिंग डिफरेंट पिक्चर्स ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ फ्लावर्स people have hobby of uh, collecting information regarding different places what is the speciality is there what type of food people eat there that is their hobby then people have the hobby of listening to music whenever they have free time they dance they do painting then they have sports as their hobby their profession might be professionally a person might be a doctor but his hobby is playing cricket he loves to play cricket when he is so that is hobby by profession or of his occupation he is a doctor he is a doctor but his hobby is playing cricket basketball football so they are all hobbies so some people take up their hobbies as their occupation but some people they are so much connected to their hobby that they convert this hobby to their occupation for example you might say uh, ms dhoni you all know him right cricketer he is so he was initially having his hobby as cricket but slowly and gradually he developed his hobby and now cricket has become his occupation because through playing cricket he earns money so he has shifted his hobby to his occupation now there is difference between hobby and occupation what is the difference hobby is activity done for fun hobby is such activity which you do for having fun which you enjoy but occupation is work done for earning money occupation you do to earn money it is not for fun hobbies are practiced during free time when do you perform your hobbies it is during your free time but occupation take up most of our time during the day but occupation means the activity through which you are earning money it is normally performed throughout the day only sometimes it is you know when you are having a holiday at your workplace you will have a free time otherwise normally occupation is a work which you normally do throughout the day clear so all of this we had to discuss in this chapter what is occupation
occupation what type of occupations do people perform in the villages what type of occupation do people perform in the cities and then what are hobbies and what is the difference between hobbies and occupation so here we come to the end of this chapter now along with this video i am also sending your cw part 1 which you have to write in your cw books okay read the chapter till where i have explained or we have almost we have finished the explanation of the chapter right so read the chapter once so that all the things are clear in your mind and next session we will discuss the exercise clear before that please complete your cw part 1 in your cw books which i'll be sending along with this video so if you have liked this video please click on the like icon see you in the next session bye